Hello again, Primarchs. Joe here, and today is to talk about something that I believe is a very controversial situation in 40K. Now, with most games have already begun to rectify this, 40K has still not rectified this, but before I go on, I really want to state, without a doubt, GW has done an incredible job of making 8th edition a way more balanced game than it's ever been in any of the other editions. So they've done a great job of uh, answering questions, fixing FAQs, doing all kinds of things differently than they ever did in all the other editions. They're no longer just saying they're a model company, they're now actually showing some care. So that is great. But with that being said, I believe, and as you've seen the title in this video, that you, two players, both on the same play level, both good players, both decent armies, let's say both shooting armies, the game is determined almost nine out of ten times over who gets first turn. That's ridiculous. And why is this? And you might you know, want to argue that, but I don't care what anyone says. I can see lists that destroy 500 points plus of people's armies turn one. Turn one. That means if you have a 2,000 point army and you destroy five to 600 points, and that's what I'm pretty much comparing because most armies are 2,000 points now. If you destroy 600 points, over 25% of that army, that means that guy paid five, 600 points for stuff that did absolutely nothing. They're just wasted. They didn't earn their points back. They're just wasted. Because in this game, you get to do your whole army gets to do everything while the other army just sits there and takes it and does nothing. It's ridiculous. It's Yes, they have in a big FAQ, they have fixed close combat assaulting, but they did nothing to take in the factor of shooting. I don't understand why they would fix one without fixing the other. That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe they have plans in the beta. You know, of all the other additions, the one thing that I wish they would have got rid of is the night fighting rule, just so you could not have Alpha Strike armies just in destroying other lists. There's no reason why someone should be losing so many points on first turn. I, I know there should be no like limit, but I mean, why are things dying so fast? Because, you know, it's just, it's unbelievable to win a game because I got first turn. That just doesn't make any kind of tactical preferences. I just shoot my dice, I kill model, especially if someone takes like a big model. Well, you, you can argue the point, well, you took that model, but if you take a model like Mortarian or something, or um, Magnus that cost you 450 points, basically, 445, and you lost that first turn, just that one model cost you 25%. Why is that one model dying so easy on first turn? He didn't get to cast his psychic powers, he didn't get to do anything, he just get to sat there and die. They need to find a way, and I hope that GW is watching this, and I really hope that somebody there can talk to them and say, look, it, this needs to be changed. A lot of games now have realized this mistake, and they have activations, like you activate a unit, that person activates a unit, and so on. Not your whole army gets to shoot. And I don't want them to change the entire thing, but why not change some things? They have rattled the freaking things. They have changed the whole wound system, the whole armor system. The whole, they changed it all. Why not change the biggest problem of all is who goes first. This could easily be changed by either having first turn, there's a night fighting rule, which I wish all tournaments would start organizing and really, now that they've fixed first turn charges, let's fix first turn shooting. It's, it's just gotta happen. There's not enough terrain in tournaments, there never is. There's some boards you play on where it's a joke. It's just like just marching to the line and shooting and blowing each other up. If enough of us really watch this video and enough of us really post our comments and reviews and if we can get this out there and if we can share this video that maybe, just maybe this can get to the hands of someone that says, you know what, we have made a mistake, this is one thing we gotta fix because GW needs to adapt on this. Because quite frankly, a lot of people are fed up with losing their first army and losing the game first turn because of a dice roll. And you know, it's just something has to be changed. And I really want your guys' feedback on this. If you think I'm totally crazy on this and you think I'm wrong, by all means, write in the comments. I mean, I want to hear your review. Maybe your meta is not as horrible as our meta, or maybe your meta has their own special rules, or maybe... And again, this is dealing with competitive lists. Most lists out there can still do some good damage first turn, but if you're talking Tau, Eldar, Dark Eldar, Imperial Guard... Um, the list goes on of uh, some heavy shooting armies that can just cripple your army first turn. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. It is what it is. 
to that aspect. Uh, people are saying that it's not that way. I guess I have to be open, but I mean, those lists, if you played against them, and I know there's people watching this that have played against them, and they know, unbelievable. Why is that list? Two Eldar players play each other, it comes down pretty much to who goes first and who kills what, bottom line. Well, you didn't catch your psychic powers yet. I mean, they, it's just it's ridiculous. They don't get any kind of defense. You don't, your model literally just showed up at the table with none of his powers active. It just, I mean, maybe they could have changed that where you can start with your powers active or something that would have benefit other than your model just sits at a table, hey, I'm 450 points, you killed me, well, that was fun, or my, my tank was just sitting there. It just, it's, I don't, again, I don't want to have this be a total rant that, you know, I want to play this game instead of GW, or instead of, uh, instead of playing 40k. I, I, it's not about that. I love 40k. I have played this game since 3rd edition. I love it, but I am fed up with stupid stuff and losing game. I mean, I have many players even told me, well, someone sees the initiative and I lost or I lost first turn. It's just, it's constant. It's constant. And it shouldn't be. The game should be decided by, you know, three, four turns. It should be, you know, I play most of my games when we play competitive level. They're done by turn three. Literally. Yes, you can continue to play them. Yes, you can still play a couple extra turns, but they're done. Like, literally, the opponents are, or my army is crippled. Simple as that. We just literally Mike Tyson each other back and forth to the point where we're so beaten that there's nothing that can come out of it. And the other army have, very rarely are close games ever there anymore. Unless you get a good terrain piece. And there is chances where you can hide your whole army behind something where it can't be shot. But I'm telling you, and if you've played in the tournament, you know how terrain is on the tournament. And it's very, there may be three tables you get in the whole tournament that are decent for that. The rest are just wide open because they don't have enough terrain to cover the whole field. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope that we can share this and get this into the right hands so maybe they can make a difference. So like I said, my suggestions are a simple night footing rule. Get rid of the spotlights and stuff like that. Just a night footing rule where anyone that's getting shot at gets a plus two to their cover save. Um, that would help out, you know, just to give something. Yes, you can't stop mortal wounds, but it would still give some advantage to that advantage. Um, also, having um, better terrain, of course, but we can't just do that. I can't, I can't just say, well, all tables should have uh, at least two blocking, but I mean, that would be a simple thing. A tournament could just say there's two pieces on every single board that have line of sight blocking, where there's just no, you can't see through on both. Doesn't matter if you're a monstrous creature, um, most tournaments don't allow, like, you know, titanic creatures, but if they do, maybe you can have just one piece of terrain that can't even block that. I don't know. You guys give me your opinion. Uh, Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe.